I was asked by a client to create a roof in a particular place. So let's just have a look at what they would like to see. So they'd actually like to see the roof pitching from that line there, 30 degrees. They'd like to see the fascia finishing at this point here, top of the brickwork. Now the reason for that, or the reason for the height of all of these things, is that it's designed to work with brick modules. Let's just have a look here. So I need to finish my fascia there, or I need to finish my wall there. So I need to finish my fascia here, or at least finish my roof at that point, because this is my fascia, it's going to, a metal fascia, it's going to go on there. So I need some dimensions. So first of all, let's place some dimensions from here to here. So I need to know that dimension. That's my bearing inset so that my roof starts here. The pitch line on my roof is actually going to be at this elevation here. If I'm So let's start putting some dimensions in. So I want to need a dimension from there to there. So this is my bearing inset. Now the Vectorworks tends to put the pitch line out here on the face of the wall. But if I do the bearing inset, it'll put the pitch line back here, or at least it will it'll make it look like it's back there and give me my bearing height at 2788. I also need to know the distance from from here out to there. That's going to be my fascia. So let's do that again from there to there. And that's going to be my soffit, I should say, my soffit or my soffit. And my fascia is going to be up here. So I think I've got everything I need. I've got the height here, 2788. So let's go over to my other view here. We'll select the wall. A, you see on the menu bar, let's create a roof. And let's have a look. So let's just check to see what we've got here. Got a vertical edge, good. Got the thickness of the roof, about 150, that's good. The bearing inset is 160. So from the face there, back there, 160, 160. This is millimeters, 160 millimeters. So just over six inches. Roof pitch 30 degrees, the bearing height 2788, there it is there. The eave overhang, so what I need to know is the distance from here out to there. Now it's uh, six, I just, I can't do the mental arithmetic. So it's 622 minus five, minus 110, because the bricks are 110 wide, uh, just over four inches. So let's see how that works. Let's go uh, roof preferences. So what about my roof preferences? So that's got the settings out for my roof, my roof accessories. Do we want to create an attic? No, but we need a soffit with a recess of zero. And now we know what the soffit is. The depth of the soffit is 622. So it should go all the way from here back to there. Okay. And let's put in a fascia. Where's my fascia settings? So my fascia is 32 and it's 230 millimeters. We'll see what that does. We might have to come back and fix this. That might actually be 18, uh, three quarters of an inch. Okay. So do we want to create these? Yes, let's create those straight away since we know we want them. Click OK, creates my roof. So now let's delete these dimensions that I've created. Delete that one, delete these lines and let's see if it all lines up. So let's exit that, update my viewport now there's something wrong here because I've got that at the right height. It's coming back. So what's happened? If we go back and create our roof again, we'll have another check to see if we've got our dimensions correct. So AEC, create roof. Now that's gone back to 266. That should have been 160. 30, that's the same, that's the same. Click OK. Let's update again. Ah, that's better. Now it didn't create my soffit. Let's just go back to that. It didn't create my soffit, didn't insert my fascia. My soffit settings, that was the trim depth from outside here, back to here was 622. And my fascia settings were 18 and 230. Let's see what that does. Okay, and let's update this one again. So now everything's perfect. So let's just move that text out of the way. So you can see there's my, my fascia, there's my soffit, comes back to the back of the brickwork. So that's how I can create my roof, how I can get the, the pitch line at the right place, how I can get the size at the right place, and it's now ready to rock and roll. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like these movies on Vectorworks, and don't forget to ring the bell in case you want to be reminded.